Hey, what up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Glad you could make it. If you hear a buzzing insect in the background, I'm sorry about that. I'm currently recording outside and it decided to start singing at the moment. So uh, it's trying to rain on my parade here, but there's not much that I can do about that. So, you know, I hope you can bear with it as much as I can because it's annoying, but I'm working through it. But anywho, uh, today's video is a really, really fucked up one. It involves injury to a child. Now, I'd like you to remember that these particular situations happen many, many times. There's a long line of incidents and videos and documents uh, that revolve around injury to children when it comes to these police pigs. Yes, that's correct. It's another video about police pigs out here and their carelessness. All right. Whether it's intentional or whether it's not, the point is, is this kind of shit should not be happening. These are supposed to be people that are highly trained and are supposed to know what they're doing. And as their core statements, or excuse me, their core values, their mission statements, their policies dictate, uh, it's about the preservation of life. You know, protect and serve. That's what it's about. But more times than none these fucking pigs now whenever you see videos when you can actually see it for yourself whenever you see them these pigs shooting at people regardless if they're allegedly guilty or if they're innocent all right you need to pay special attention to how they're shooting and what they're shooting at okay because you'll see that in virtually almost every incident these pigs never care about their backstops okay their bullets they start shooting and their bullets can go anywhere they can be in residential places where there's a bunch of non bulletproof houses around and and babies and and uh you know teenagers and and you know all the kids in between inside those houses they could be in a public area such as a busy street with a bunch of businesses around and and people just flourishing all over and and walking everywhere and they start shooting and they don't give a fuck where their bullets go and i believe that i don't know if there's some sort of law that protects them from this shit or whatever but you know there's there's this misconception that they can wash their hands their dirty hands clean simply by saying oh well that guy caused me to pull my trigger so i'm not responsible it's all his fault you know what i mean uh, when it comes to these fucking pigs that's basically how it is yeah yeah that guy started shooting at us that guy reached for something in his pocket so he made me pull my trigger he controlled my mind and made me pull my gun out and point it at him and shoot at him and until the uh, until the magazine runs dry even after he went down with the first two bullets you know i still had to shoot him with the rest of the rounds in my magazine and it's not my fault you know that's basically a cop's mentality so uh i don't want to you know get off talking about so much about this because i i tend to say a lot when it comes to these kind of situations you know excuse my passion but um yeah this particular video you're about to see uh, uh i want you to really really absorb the reaction of this little girl that gets hurt by a police officer all right I really want you to, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, I want you to absorb with all that you can absorb with the screams and the pain and the fear that this little girl presents to you in this video. All right. Take that shit with you and start, if you're a police pig supporter, start reanalyzing your stance on these cops out here and if you're a person who acknowledges the truth when it comes to these fucking pigs out here you know this is further evidence for you to take with you to remember that pigs are fucking dangerous you know there's so many times when people want to call the cops for help and it's just the worst thing that you can do all right it happens time after time you know uh tamir rice you know, uh, Justin Damon, all right, and a bunch of other people that I can't think right off the top of my head right now, but 
here's another one i don't know the little girl's name but it's a, it's a nine-year-old little girl that gets hit by a by some fragments uh from the cops's bullet that he shot at a dog that was doing what a dog is supposed to do and you know the the rest is history you know just look at it for yourself but just a little background the police pig who did the shooting his name is dexter betts all right dexter itchy trigger finger betts and this comes out of wichita kansas it happened uh at the end of december of 2017 and apparently this guy uh this pig got charged with uh, i think it's aggravated battery i'm gonna leave a link in the description with a news story in it and he said for a trial coming this august you know so at least that much at least he was charged but just because they get charged with some sort of crime remember innocent until proven guilty and even though it's clear as day we all know or should know that blue privilege always comes first so just because he got charged does not mean that he's going to get any consequence from it all right uh Philip Mitchell Brailsford, the fucking murderer who shot down Daniel Shaver, got away with his fucking uh, murder, right? He, he got away with his fucking bullshit even though he got charged. So only time will tell what happens with this situation. But uh, yes, yeah, so uh, Wichita, Kansas, uh, at the end of December 2017, involving a nine-year-old little girl who was shot in the face just above her eye, but at the moment she thought she got shot in her eye all right and it happened because uh the pigs didn't do their fucking jobs right they didn't care about doing their jobs right and professionally and they uh one of the the, the pig dexter bets discharged his firearm in a room full of children and right next to a little girl who was sitting on the floor and a pit bull looked like a pit bull to me but a dog came out and if now play that part over and over if you don't see it right from the top because right when i saw it i could tell right away that that dog did not attack this cop the dog stood between its owner and a stranger that was in his house yes the dog's house and it did what a good dog is supposed to do all right and what do these fucking pigs do every time a dog comes out they shoot that fucking dog or they shoot at the dog with no regard for the dog and no regard for a family member and yes dogs are family members all right so this dog there's no guilt to this dog's actions the only one guilty here is the fucking police pig himself and again take with you the screams and the pain and the fear of this little girl that that you're about to see oh my goodness it just it just fucked me up man that shit broke my heart but you know just like tamir rice just like justin damon you know just like baby boo boo here is another incident that has occurred courtesy of your so-called 99 percent good cops check it out Okay, got a dog inside here too. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Dog inside, attacked it.
Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Step out of the house and clear the dogs in this back window. Step on out. Clear the house. All right, we're coming out. Coming out. Yeah. You guys copy. Step out of the house. The dogs in the bedroom. Dispatch. Start me, uh, start me one, two more. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not gonna rock. Get off the air. I'm not gonna rock. Okay, you're right. You're right. All other kids, okay? Yeah, they're okay. Okay. Did you see that big dog come on? I didn't see it, man. Holy cow, that thing came at me quick. I was in the room, I didn't see it, man. Okay.